Hey, welcome back to RH2 Racing. Today we're actually in for a treat. We're here at Leroy Engineering up in Ohio, and we're going to be talking to John here and seeing what's going on. So tell me a little bit about yourself, about Leroy Engineering, and how you guys got started. Yep, so uh, we've had a contract engineering business since I was born, near as I can remember, and I worked for my dad doing mechanical engineering and mechanical design since I was 16. I taught myself CAD modeling and did all that. In 2012, when the economy took a turn for the worse, we lost that business and had to go find jobs elsewhere. And I wound up in the aerospace uh, industry. And I really did not fit well in that world. Uh, I, I, I always wanted to be in motorsport and cars and eventually had the opportunity to start our own business again. We started the Lever Engineering Race Trailers to develop the tire trailers that everyone uses to go to the racetrack. Um, that started taking off and we wanted to get into that and do that full time. And right when we thought it was about to turn the corner, COVID hit and race trailer sales came to a halt. So we looked around and said, well, what else can we do to bring in money? And I'd been building Miatas on my own in my free time for years and never thought anyone would pay me to do that. I, I looked at the time it took and said, yeah, no one's gonna do that. But we said, what the heck, let's, let's open it up and just see what happens. And the floodgates opened and we've been building motors and cars uh, since March of this year. Now I've looked around your shop and we're gonna definitely put some clips in here of what's going on at the shop. You've got a lot of cool tools here. Very envious. Mm -hmm. Tools, a lift, you got places to work, you can do machine work here, you can do plasma cutting, all sorts of things. So we're a family of engineers. Um, I'm a mechanical. Uh, our dad is an electrical engineer. My brother's a computer wow. science engineer. And my other brother is a fabricator and a phenomenal TIG welder and, and uh, just hands-on fabricator. So we were able to build all of our own equipment. So we built a four axis CNC plasma. We built a powder coating oven that's enormous. Um, we've been able to, to do basically anything. Um, we have a Bridgeport CNC router, CNC laser. And so anything that needs to be made, we can make. And a lot of that equipment we built for the trailer industry conveniently carried over to doing cars. So when we wanted to do custom work on vehicles, we had all the right equipment and the right skill sets in place. Are you still selling all those, uh, the trailers? Yeah, we're still selling the trailers. We're expecting that to pick up spring of next year. Um, usually January, February is when orders start coming in. So hopefully everyone remembers that summer comes again and starts placing orders for those. So we're still doing the trailers, we're still developing those. And hopefully the race season gets hopefully going. Hopefully we actually have a season next year. Definitely. Um, yeah, we're still doing development and, and innovations on the trailers, um, shooting to be better than they are now. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about those, you know, what makes that special as opposed to, I don't know, you know, going out and renting a U-Haul or something. Yeah, so there's only two options really right now, if, well, three, so if you do not want to do a truck in a trailer and trailer your car to the track, um, which is a good option for some people, but you have to own and share a truck, a trailer, have a place to store it. If you don't want to do that, your only two options are our trailers or to convert a Harbor Freight utility trailer to do the job. Alright, so our trailers were designed to be the easiest and stress-free way to get to the track. So we use all automotive parts and not trailer hardware. So they're car wheel bearings, car wheels, car suspension, or, and motorcycle suspension parts. So there's nothing to service on them, and they have a top speed of 120 miles an hour. So you can take them and you hook them up to your sports car and drive your sports car like a sports car to the track without even having to think about what's back there or wondering when's the last time you greased your bearings or is it going to vibrate apart. Um, all the frames are one piece welded and then we powder coat the whole thing so rust is not an issue. All the wiring is run inside of the frame, nothing gets snagged. So they were, they were designed as a sports car accessory to be the stylish and hassle free way to get to the racetrack. Not just a utility trail. And not just a utility trail. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, you said that you put those behind your cars and you put them behind the Miatas as well. Mm -hmm. we How do they handle that? We've made hitches for almost everything. We've done second gen Vipers through um, the new Alpha 4C we've done a hitch on. Uh, Beamers, Corvettes, Camaros, Miatas, pretty much any vehicle we've come across we can get a hitch for. The trailers dry and they weigh about 200 pounds, so that's about the weight of a, a fat friend. Um, so you don't even notice it's back there, even in something as small as a Miata. I honestly forget I'm towing it and I look in the rear view and see it, it spooks me. So 
the the suspension handles as good as any sports car suspension, and they just glide along right behind it. Wow. We have taken the trailers out on the autocross track just to see. How did that turn? Out? Before they kicked us out, um, <laughs> uh, I only ran two seconds slower than my base time in the car, so it really doesn't wow. affect anything. What other kind of services do you guys offer here? So we're we're strictly a Miata at this point, um, sticking with what we know, and we can do just about anything relating to the car. So we can do suspension work, we can do exhaust work, anything motor related, power upgrades, sourced induction, we can do cosmetic stuff, interiors, lights, um, radio installs, roll bars, soft tops is a big one, we do a lot of soft tops. Um, pretty much anything you need, we can do OEM restorations on the cars or we can do something custom and special depending on what you want. Cool. Yeah.